Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Two Man Dem Talk Movies. I'll be your boy Kwame. And I'm your boy Enigma, man. And you know what we do, man? We break down these movies in that uncensored, un- uncensored. I keep, I keep yeah. messing up. I don't know I why. Uncensored, unfiltered way. It don't matter. They giving it to about. you raw. You know what we're talking about. Um, and yeah, man, we're going to go straight, mm. straight, straight in Come on, on this man. one. Give it to um, me. It's been a big film for Netflix. And that movie is Rebel, Rebel Ridge. Ridge. So I was thinking, what if we just walk away? Well, now you're starting to talk. What if some like, nah. Cool. Well, do you wanna, do you, do, can you drop we a little synopsis? synopsis? Yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead. An ex-Marine grapples his way through a web of small town corruption when an attempt to post bail for his cousin escalates into a violent standoff with the local police chief. Gotta say from the beginning, break out fucking performance for Mr. Aaron Pierre. Look, out of the box straight, this guy has movie star, action star, them type of qualities. You know when you saw Michael B. Jordan in Fruitville Station, when you saw Jonathan Majors, I have to say it, in Lovecraft Country. Certain no, people... It was White that, Boy Rick. Man, it was White, Boy Rick. White Boy Rick for you, yeah, yeah but man. Lovecraft Country for me. Same, Certain same. people, they have that thing when they come yeah. on screen, you're like, nah, okay, this 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 guy's got it, this guy's got it. And Aaron I Pierre... Said, I said it from the trailer, has bro. got it. No, you did, you did, from you did, trailer, you did, bro. you did. Aaron Pierre has fucking got it. Um, Got a shout out. He's Mandem. God, I just, I just want to represent. He's Mandem. He's from South London. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's from Brixton, bruv. You get me? So I just want to shout Man's out. Man's dead, though, still. Man's dead. Man's dead. Man's he's dead, literally though. from the end. Man's <laughs> dead, though. He's literally from where KW is right now. He's from the end. And I just Don't want to shout out. Outside. I'm not letting you know where I am. <laughs> just know I'm Props in Brixton. Brick Bricktown, props Town, to another, another UK man making it over there. Do you know what's mad thing. though? The fact mm. that it's him and he's from ENDS mm. and originally it was Boyega's role. That's what who's I'm saying. also from ENDS, which is mad. ENDS, isn't it? It's ENDS, it's ENDS, it's ENDS. So it's almost like it was like, listen, we need we one need of you man them to play this role. <laughs> Literally. Boyega actually shot scenes, you know that? He actually just started shooting. Uh, yeah, I heard, I heard that. Mad. And then they had to shut yeah. down or something. And then, yeah, had, yeah scheduling conflicts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. I'll be real. I mean, Pierre's performance, mm. Boyega is one of my favourite new young actors. But yeah. I don't know if he would have done it better than Pierre. I 100% agree. I'm and just I thought that honest. as well. The physicality needed. Um, pause on that if, if you need a pause. <laughs> <laughs> the wild outburst. Um, handled the action well. Nigga was throwing man them all over the place, bruv. Batter man's up. Uh, and I think as well, I like when a character within the first 10 minutes, I felt like I knew Terry Richmond, bruv. You know, like even Richard, um, Richard, how um, Alan Richard Richard has done so well. That's with Richard. what I said, though. Richard, this, this is what this is, though. This mm. movie was is is literally Jack Richard meets. Walking tall meets the man. The man. Yeah. Because there was one other there was one other thing that was very much intertwined with it. But he's very, mm. very much a black reacher. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's definitely. how he came. How across. he carried himself yeah, and blah yeah. blah blah. And I like his laser focus, his military laser focus. Laser focus, seriously. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about Don Johnson? Don Johnson played a really good racist cop because mm, he makes mm, you mm. dislike him early at first i wasn't sure about anna sophia rob's performance in the sense that no not her performance sorry her performance was on point i mean her character let me talk about sorry, her character her performance okay was actually good. Down. but at I first down. i was like i don't know about his character though mm. it's a bit because at first i was thinking it's a bit forced and is this real mm. and it's believable but mm. as the story develops the wh- why she's like that why she's doing sense. it yeah yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally that, agree yeah yeah because yeah. at first I'm like no you wouldn't help him why would you mm. you don't know this mm. nigga mm. Mm. and he's mm. a nigga mm. why do you care that you know what I mean no I yeah. ask these questions I ask these uh, questions true true so true, true. Like, I know in terms I, of story, I wasn't sure if she was hungry or just trying to help out at first Them ones. and I'm actually glad that they didn't make her a love interest and as you said once you find out about her drug addiction and her child yeah, yeah. It, it all came together it all came together definitely definitely I don't, I don't, I don't get my number out 
<laughs> I'll be back around. <laughs> Bruv, I'll be honest with you, yeah. I, th- this, one of the standout things in, in this movie that I really liked was actually the dialogue. Yes, some dialogue of the dialogue was, really was fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, of the shit that yeah. was said, I loved. Yeah, and that yeah. is rare for me in modern day. Yeah, movies. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's iconic now. The phone call, and I thought we could work things out. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Are you mad? <laughs> the story was good. In fact, the story was great. It started off amazing for me. It had so much potential. It became very anticlimactic towards the end, though. And that's where I had an issue. Because that to me, the setup for something great, something devastating, something big mm. was there on the page. Mm. Mm. And it just was mad anticlimactic. Because the story, mm. everything was there. The corrupt cop, the corrupt area. You didn't know mm. who the informant was till the end. Very mm. anticlimactic and very, very poor writing. I have to say, that part of the story was very, very, very detrimental to the ending of the film for me. Which very part are we talking about? When we found out about the judge? Or... No, when we no, no, that was obvious. Let me explain, yeah. let me explain something to you about James Cromwell. If James Cromwell is in a film, <laughs> he is never good. Let me say something to you about Hollywood. Since babe, since babe. Bruv, <laughs> bruv. Listen, if you don't know about movies... If James Cromwell is in the movie, you already know the storyline of the movie. It's very... He he literally has played the same character for 50 fucking years. He is so typecast, it's hilarious now. Yeah, if yeah. you think I'm bullshitting, go look at Man's IMDb. Go look at his frigging... This is his, his filmography and look at all the films he's been in. From being he's the always, general's daughter to frigging yeah. basic to whatever... All yeah. the type of movies that he's been in. Bro, yeah, he plays yeah. the, from LA Confidential. It don't matter. <laughs> this nigga's the he's same character. Good. He's good. <laughs> he's good <laughs> until the next scene where we find out he's the he's an old man who's like this until yeah. he's really like this and he's evil. <laughs> His reveal was obvious. It was mm. the informant's reveal that was annoying to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, of yeah, who yeah. they yeah. made us believe it was to who it really was. I know it was trying to not be your typical action movie. Yeah. So, you know, most action movies, 99% of them end with a one-on-one fight between yeah, the two yeah, protagonists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen between him and Don Johnson, etc. Exactly, because he'll punch up everyone. So. He'll punch up everyone. But it, I agree. It was an anti comedic ending. I, I totally agree. I'm just going to say, though, the yeah. story up until that point, and even... even like, you know, up until him trying to get his cousin out, trying to find the girl. It was girl. fucking the, brilliant. The bike scene, bruv. You know when he was riding along? That was, bruv, that's some Creed, that had Creed bruv, um, um, energy to it. I fucking love that scene. Riding along. I love that scene. I love his that cousin. Scene. Is this a jailbreak, nigga? <laughs> that shit was hilarious. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> and he was like, that's my cousin, yo. That's when I knew that nigga wasn't going to survive. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I knew when knew that nigga was wasn't going to survive? He was dead. When they never showed his face properly. They never gave us his whole character. His he was just identity. a face on yeah, the bus. Yeah. They didn't give us his whole yeah, identity. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. when I knew they're going to kill him off. That's yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you, that's yeah. When you knew. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I but mean, that, there was, that was a lot sick, of... That was a good scene. Sick, sick scene. Sick yeah. scene when he... Even the, the when he was driving the, the truck, you referenced it earlier, using the truck to bust out the wall. Ah! At the That's end. so funny. Yeah, I like Has it. up Don Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Sit down! Mad. <laughs> Sit down again. Bruv, when he took the, when he first took the whole police station hostage and all that, that yeah, whole scene, bruv, yeah. everything sick. was good up above. Yeah, yeah, everything sick, was, sick, bruv, sick. My favourite line in the whole movie, my favourite line in the whole movie, is when, mm. he's sitting, when he's been armsed up and whatever, and then mm. the, the Chinese dude's patching him up. And mm. he's talking to um, Anna Sophia across the table. Yeah. And then he says to her, listen, I don't know where my cousin is. I hope he's in heaven. But you know what? While I'm down here, I'm about to mm. haunt these motherfuckers. That <laughs> shit was hard. <laughs> the hard. way he delivered that line. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 I took yeah, that line back yeah. bare times. Yeah, 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 when he said that line, yeah, I said, this yeah, nigga like, thinks oh, he's shit. fucking John McClane. He thinks yeah. he's John McClane. Standard, standard, I was like, standard. that was hard. Go back and watch that yeah. scene and tell me that yeah, scene yeah, hard. Yeah, hard. A lot of tension scenes. I love the tension when... He was trying to post the bell and he knew the police was coming. It was um, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. That was the brilliant. traffic stop when man was like, oh, he's got a gun. <laughs> but then like that, that out of nowhere. That was one of my favourite scenes. Seriously. That was bro. one of my favourite scenes. Pure attention. Because yeah. I, really, I was like, where does it go from here? Yeah. Like when man was yeah. driving next to him, I was like, oh. Yeah. I was it's leaving town. Now, nah, but you ain't left yet. <laughs> but you ain't left yet. Why are you still here? Pull over. 
Stand and then stand man blocks up the top of the road. I knew yeah, someone was about to you pop knew someone was gonna go down. You know someone you was about to pop yeah. go down, bruv. Yeah, that's um, bruv. The film has got a collection of amazing set pieces. It's mm. actually really everything about the film was good just until the ending. Okay, okay, just, okay, from, okay, the, okay. from the reveal, I was pissed off. Hit yeah. me with the score, bruv. Let's go. Okay, real talk. Mm. I would have given this a nine out of ten. Whoa! I would have given it an I liked it. It's my type of movie. I like yes, it like this. It is. That ending disappointed me. I had to drop a point and a half of it, so I have to drop okay. it down to seven and a half. Ironically, we were on the same score. I was mm. gonna do nine out of ten initially in my head. Okay, okay. But I'm gonna go eight and a half out of ten. Okay. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, as you said, great script. Love the action, love the tension, love the, the quiet moments, as long as they've been the bash moments, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like, there was a lot, lot going on. Again, I love watching something and thinking I'm seeing a star, and I really do think I'm seeing a star in this yep. dude, in Aaron Pierre. I really think he done well. Yeah. And again, like you said, um, Black Reacher vibes, um, great, great dialogue. Some literally dope like dialogue. And... It's definitely Seriously. got rewatchability. It's definitely got rewatchability. So I'm yeah, really looking forward to watching it again. Um, and yeah, man, I just think dope movie. Highly recommend it. If you haven't, if you've seen it already, obviously let us know what you think. But mm. if you haven't, definitely highly recommend yeah, this one. Highly man, recommend. It. And you guys, let us know what you think, man. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did you like the ending? Did you enjoy the whole film? Did you hate the whole film? Let us know in the comments, man. We'd love to hear from you and um, we'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Again, if you could drop a like or a subscribe, that would mm. be much appreciated. Thank you to everyone that's been rocking with us. And if this is the first time, if you could drop a, either one of those, that would be much appreciated. Mm-hmm. And until the next time, I've been your boy Enigma. And I've been your boy Kwame. And we've been the two men them that talk movies. We out. Peace.